Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I figured today, since I got a good portion of my collection out, I'd do a little collection tour. So this is going to be my John Deere half. Sometime I might make another part dedicated to my other brands like Cup Cadet and Alice Chalmers, but let's just get started. First up, I've got this John Deere 80 cart. Got it for 100 bucks. I'm not complaining. Then the other day I found this 50 cart. I don't see these very often. Next up, we got this here John Deere 60. Four legged deer. It's got the nice Tecumseh engine in it, the custom air cooled seat. I'm working on this one right now, waiting on the new carburetor to come in. Same story with this here John Deere 70. Need a carburetor. Been waiting for it for about two weeks. Uh, we'll see you when those Chinese kids want to pound out my order. Next up, we got this John Deere 100. I just recently found this. Uh, let me tell you what, I love this thing. Seat's not in bad shape. It's got a nice old 8 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine in it. Runs like a charm. I love this thing, and some people are pretty controversial about the 100s, but I think they're pretty good. Next up, we got my brand new old 110 round fender it's got the headlights and it's got the Kohler K181S in it 8 horsepower Kohler it's pretty clean from what I can tell it's all original need to give it a bath I just picked this thing up the other day it was sitting for about 5 years and uh, threw a new carburetor on it and fired right up then we got my old reliable 110 round fender had this one for a little while both of them have the front mower draft plates. It's pretty cool. This one, I picked it up and it had this strange uh, leather steering wheel cover and the variator. I'm guessing the lift rod had it too, but she's pretty good. It runs really good. Got it running, drove it, and then it decided to throw a rear end on me. So I had to go to one of my donor tractors and pull a rear end out. But she's back up and running now. Next up in the lineup, we got this here, John Deere 300. I rather enjoy these tractors. <clears throat> Never had one running that I owned, but pretty much a 314 or 316, rather. Got the 14 horsepower Kohler, if I can get the hood open. Just picked this one up yesterday. Some pretty rough shape, but uh, once I get some time on my hands, I'll probably do a full restoration on it. It's missing the starter. It's going to need a seat, but everything's there, except for side panels, but I don't know. Side panels are just an added accessory. Then we got this John Deere 300. This is actually my father's 300. It's got the 48-inch mower deck on it. Got your Kohler engine. Haven't been able to get it running yet. The starter quit out on me the other day, so I'm gonna have to replace the starter. But I got one bolt out, and I'm not sure if you can see that in there. But the other one decided it was gonna strip out on me. It's always something, I'll tell you. This one's in pretty good original condition. I'm not gonna paint this one at all or restore it. I'm gonna restore the one next to it there. Next up is this here, John Deere 216. Ooh. I don't know what that is, just ignore it. <laughs> this is my John Deere 216. As you can see, the battery box kind of decided it didn't want to be in there. I swapped the 10 horsepower Kohler into it because the 26 or the 16 horsepower Kohler was completely blown up. It's got the custom white wheels because why not? Worst part about having so many tractors is you can't keep tires on them. Next up is this here, John Deere 214. This one was my pride and joy. I sold it to one of my best friends and traded him a round fender for it and got it back. Has the ag tires on it. It's got a weight box with a little bit of weight in it. I had to put that on the other day to move my sled trailer. Used to have a stack on it, but I have a side panel I'm going to put on it. 
or I might throw the stack back on, who knows with me. This thing runs beautiful, it's never let me down, so does the 216. Next up, we got this other 214 I just picked up the other day. Got it for 100 bucks, I wasn't complaining. Haven't had it running yet, but she's pretty rough. It's all original, I love my original stuff, as you can tell. I'm not gonna paint this one, I'm just gonna keep it as is. It's actually free, but there's no carburetor on it. Next up, we got the first ever John Deere I ever owned. This here is my John Deere 212, or one of them at least. Two other ones are stripped down, getting restored. It does run beautifully, but I had to steal the carburetor off for something else. As you can see, we had a little mishap with the... Uh, ball on my three-point hitch decided to go right through my headlight lens luckily i have four or five spares threw one on then we got my john deere 210 this thing i've been restoring for a little while i'm waiting on my new points and condenser to come in it's been about two months since i've ordered them it's a pretty big pain in the ass waiting for parts i did have it running but it was running pretty crappy due to the points it's gonna need a battery i did full restoration on this one about three months ago. Went through the whole thing top to bottom, put new gaskets in the motor. And it used to run, eh, kinda good, but if y'all know how that goes, points decide they don't wanna be connected to each other anymore and it died. Then we have this John he Deere 210, the earlier model. Have not had it running yet, just picked it up the other day. It's in uh, all original condition, we'll call it. It's got the patina, that's for sure. It does have a carburetor. I don't have any hopes for it, seeing how you can literally stick your hand in the muffler. Next up, we got this John Deere 200. I looked forever to try and find one of these things. I could not find it anywhere. This one came up on Marketplace for a hundred bucks. I had to buy it. Have not had it running yet. I thought it was pretty funny. It's basically a 208. It's got the Kohler K181 QS in it. Have not had that one running yet. Next we have this John Deere 112 hydraulic lift. It does have the single steel pedal, which means it's an earlier model. I think this one was a 69 or a 68. As you can see, the deck is completely shot on it. I think it's kind of weird. It's got the Tecumseh engine in it, but it's got the spot for the starter generator. One of my friends thinks it might be a prototype. Other weird thing on this is it's got the 140 or the 300 hitch almost these ones are supposed to have the welded on solid hitch but this one's only got the one that's held in by two bolts had a cab on it at some point in time obviously she's in okay shape for her age but probably gonna keep it all original next we have my 112 electric lift which is not looking too hot but I got all the bones to start with. It did run about three years ago. I let it sit and didn't touch it. It's got your custom cup holder so you can drink your Coca-Cola while you're cutting the grass. It's got the dual pedals so it's a later model. But everything's there. Minus the hood supports and grill which I've got. Trust me, I've got a couple of those. Next we're moving on to my 112 manual lift have not had this one running yet i just picked this one up the other day with that one actually with the hydraulic lift it's got the rear tail lights which is pretty cool that actually work the cool thing about this pair of 112s is both the headlight vessels are in excellent shape as you can see so are the hoods. I mean, I'm not complaining. I've bought tractors that hoods are completely crap, like the next one I'm about to show you. But it's got the singular pedal, so it's a 68 or a 69. 
Next up, we got my John Deere 110. I got this one for $25 out of a guy's scrap pile. He had it upside down. If that tells you anything about the condition of it. It's in okay shape. When I get some time on my hands, I'll probably go through the entire thing, rebuild the motor, and just give her some love. Throw some paint on it and all that good stuff. That's well, my pretty impressive lineup. These are just the rollers. I got about 10 other ones. 10 or 15, give or take. pretty cool i got the 50 the 60 70 the 80 and the 100 that did not make a 90 but i've got a cart that i'm planning on turning into a 90 cart i think that's gonna be pretty cool got a whole bunch of attachments and parts i can show you i got more than what's pictured here this is just what i have down ready to work here we got a couple of decks They're all in somewhat usable condition. Whenever I see a deck for sale, I try to buy it because you always need them. Cup Cadet deck, but. Yeah, this is my little stash. A couple blowers. It's more over there. Just a blower. My brass tag plow is actually up there. This is just my normal plow. I'm planning on putting my brass tag plow on my. 110 or my 112 electric or hydraulic lift i got two of those actually she's in all this damn traffic got a couple sets of cast wheel weights another spare weight box with a mule drive in it i actually own five or six cabs these are just the ones i keep outside they're pretty poor condition but they're usable and people buy them some more random tractors. Just a couple. We got my John Deere 110 hydraulic lift. When I bought this, it was completely in shambles. The motor was locked up. Tore that apart, freed it up, rebuilt it. Someone had painted it the wrong color previously, so I I prefer to keep my stuff original, but with how poor condition the paint was on this machine, I decided I was going to paint it. Got parts everywhere in here. This is one of my other John Deere 210s. I have it most of the way back together. I stuck a 110 transmission in it, but didn't line up right, so pulled this 200 transmission off one of my 212 parts tractors. It's the rear end that's got to go in this. Every single round fender I've owned up to this point has had problems with the rear end. These are two more of my 110 round fenders. You can't really see them in there, but this one here, this motor's lock, or the motor is supposedly blown up, but I think it's just hydro seized because when I pulled the plug, there was rust all over it. This one here is just a donor. Paid 550 bucks for it and got it home and the motor was bad, so... The rear end went into one of my other ones. I've got a whole other section of my property that's just devoted to my tractors, or garden tractors, I guess you'd call them. I can show you that real quick. It's, a, it's what I like to refer to as my boneyard, because if I'm bored, I can come up here and pull a tractor down, and get it running. Or strip it down and use it for parts. I hate doing that, but if you pull one apart, you can save five or six of them. This here is my John Deere 140 H3 conversion. Someone put a external pump on the seat pan, but one of my uh, close friends bought that off me. The seat pan and the pump has the rear hydraulics, the whole nine yards picked this one up out of a farmer's field the other day for 150 in bucks got the Tecumseh in it but 
whatever. I need to get a carburetor for it. It's got the hydraulic lift and a decent deck. Again, we have the singular one steel pedal, so it's a 68 or a 69. Here are a couple of my parts tractors I got over here. This one here is a John Deere 212. Bad motor and a good rear end, so I took that out and put it in my 210. That one there is a John Deere 112 electric lift. I needed the motor out of that one for my 216. This one here is a John Deere 110 round fender. Someone stripped it all off, but I got it for a $20 bill, and it's got the rear lift, or the front lift that I need. That one there is a John Deere 316. I got a 318 frame somewhere, too, but... This one I bought, it had a blown-up motor. My 318 frame uh, didn't have a motor or transmission when I bought it. This one's still around because it's got the rear lift for the three-point. I'm thinking about putting that on one of my 300s. I think that would be pretty cool. Little sneak peek. I've got a couple Cub Cadets here. Some Craftsman junk. Some more Craftsman junk. And if any of you need decks, give me a holler. I got plenty of Craftsman decks to go around. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me through this video. I'm planning on making some more YouTube videos. I just really haven't had time. Alright, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.